Hello, and welcome to a Fallout 76 build episode. Today, I'm going to pack up the fight club and move. This place was a ton of fun to play with friends and other players, but it's time to move on. Don't worry, I'm not going too far. In fact, I'm going right next door to this location. I'm going to encompass this building and the truck inside a giant warehouse I'm going to build. And up there will be the Caesar-style gladiator viewing stand. And the truck will stay inside because I think it adds something that people can jump around on and fight and hide behind. Um, I think it'll look pretty cool. The tricky part is dropping the camp because there's a sweet spot right there at the edge of the building and not much else. I have to be sure that I can get the truck in and the front edge of the building. I'm just going to climb up here and check it out in third person to make sure that I can get everything in. It's a little tricky because it can only go on just this little strip here on the edge of the building. And I can't see if the truck is inside or not. So I have to move it up again Okay, I found it was best just to go back down at ground level just to be 100% sure that I could get that truck in there. I can't shift it any more off to the right because then I'm outside the boundary of where I can even drop it at all. So here we go. Let's begin the build. So first thing you want to do is delete blueprint and I won't be using that anymore so you can see at the top of stored it moves the blueprint in its entirety to your stored item so go ahead and delete that one and all the components are showing up and I wanted to delete the top one, which should be all the bookcases from the Burning Man build. And they've shown up now, too. So all the components are now under stored when you delete your blueprint. Just taking a look and finding the foundations. This one's going to be a bit tricky because I have to build it so the floor lines up with the edge of that overhang on the crab shack. So I have to put down a foundation and a set of stairs and then the floors can snap on to the stairs. So now I'm trying to decide do I want to build on the right side or the left side, depending on how much room there is. So I'm just going to tuck the camp system up here for now. 
so it's out of my way. And that's the edge of where I need to have the flooring line up. So I'm just going to drop a few foundation pieces to see what direction I need to start dropping these. And I can already see I'm going to run into the barrier of that other uh, support pole that's out there. I can already see my angle is completely off. But I also want to check out what things are have to stay, like this sign, the ice cream cone sign has to stay. And of course, you can't move individual pieces. I'm going to try out this tree trunk. And that goes, so that's good. I can build right out to the edge of the work build area. So I think I'll begin here. Then I realize it's too low, so I have to remove that piece. just store it, raise this one up a little bit higher so I get a level floor inside the arena part. And this is trial and error 100%. There is no every place that I drop a camp is different. As you can see, it's leveling out here. So as long as it doesn't go underground, it's okay. For some reason, I think it's that... Um, irradiated pile there is preventing me from building any more right now. I have to wait for it to disappear. Sometimes these stairs really drive me crazy. I think I'm just going to have to go with a straight up set of stairs rather than one of these with uh, posts. So that is a good sign. It dropped right there, but it's too far out from the edge. So I have to remove everything and shift it over. Now, sometimes you can blueprint just one foundation and one set of stairs and move it around. That's fine too. It just depends on your building style and what you want to do. And I've had problems with doing that. So I've managed to just do it this way where I just remove the pieces shift the other one over and go a little bit higher there we go that might do it again it's pure trial and error to get it to line up and it is still too far from the edge. And there too, as that's what's going to happen. You'll just fall through. So this is the crazy stuff I do when I build. You 
can always fast forward ahead and see how it all worked out. In fact, once I did get it right, the entire build around the entire existing structure all lined up. It was something that's never happened. Usually, you know, I have to shift everything or one piece doesn't work. And you'll see how it managed to incorporate the Big Steve Sporting Goods sign too. There we go. I think we have the right height now. And it's still too far out. I want to use the narrow boards because I want to be able to see the truck through the graded floor that will go in front of it. So at this point, it looks like I have more room on the opposite side of the building, as you can see I'm right on the boundary edge there. So I've moved everything here so I can build out further on this side. So it is begin again time. Now we have to check that the narrow floor piece can line up with the edge of that shelf. We just have to move this again. And let's see how we do. That one looks good. Yes. That is absolutely perfect. So I will put the narrow pieces in, but right now I just wanna lay out a platform to see exactly what shape I can build in here on these floor pieces. And right now I'm coming to the edge of the build area here, so I know that it may not fit. Or it's being a pain. It's either one or the other. Okay, fine, I'll just do it on the edge there and just give up. And I think that's the reason is it, it doesn't want me to put that piece there because it's right on the edge of the build area. That one is definitely outside. So I'm getting a rough idea of the area I can build within. And I still have the foundations to put down because I have to enclose it. So I have to put foundations that will match these upper floors. So now I have a rough idea of the shape of the entire area and these will be removed and now I can place down the bottom foundations because I have to build up I think probably three walls high so I can encompass the top of the crab shack.
so I can remove these larger pieces. And replace them with the narrow ones that will line up with the edge. There we go. Can't believe that piece fit and overlapped. That one too. These ones were a no because it's just too close to the existing edge, so I can just put a wall there. And here are the foundations going in. I had a lot left over from the Fight Club build, so whatever's left can just be deleted. And I just managed to get the elevation in here. There's going to be a little edge or corner here that won't be completely square. That'll probably drive me crazy, but it's what it is. I just needed to get the truck inside the building. See if it'll let me remove that piece later. And sometimes you get that, where half of it is outside the build area, but it still lets you put it down. So now I can start putting the walls up and getting the shape of the warehouse arena. So the other side of the build area will have the entrance, but here I have to be sure to block off the side here. And to do that, I have to lay foundations and again, walls. And I just managed to squeeze inside the build area there. So I may have to pile up some junk or stash boxes there so uh, things cannot pass through the, between the wall and the side of the building. I 
I can easily switch out these wood walls for metal ones later. Right now, I'll just drop these down just to see where everything lines up. So just that opening has to be filled. Okay, so this should be big enough. And now because I have to build up three stories, I'm laying out these platforms, which will help me reach um, those three stories high. Sometimes platforms will work, platforms with ladders, and then when I'm completed everything, then I can just remove them all. Still amazed I managed to clear that truck, so at least everything is level. At least if I ever decide that I want to put a second story up and leave them as solid floors, I can still cover the truck. So that is the main entrance with the keypad power door. And this will be the bar area right above and I can't believe it just lined up perfectly And again, I have to close off this area. Probably going to need some junk right in here to keep the, uh, the walls. Um, won't reach right up to the edge there. Anything that is a stash box cannot be destroyed. So if you have in the stash box category filing cabinets, um, garbage cans, uh, some of the tall cabinets, they can fill these spaces and players cannot destroy them and NPCs cannot either. So they make great barriers.
Okay, let's take a look at the finished build. I'd like to have a very special thank you to Absalom1992 for the idea of Fight Clubs. And wait till you see the most amazing bar. The Lonely Lion and F built the bar for me. And I, I was, it was truly amazing to see. So a special shout out to those friends of mine for helping me out. This is just a long shot to show you the entire new building around the crab shack. And let's go in and take a look inside. Still having issues with these ridiculous powered doors. So I still have room for a little garden over here. My budget is completely maxed out. I have no turrets. I have nothing like blueprints stored. This is all in the existing budget. I used the broken windows just to get some more light in here. And there's the gladiatorial deck. And that's what I was telling you about. If you can't fit walls in, just stack stash boxes. And believe me, ever since I've opened this place, I've had people banging on the walls trying to get in and destroying things. There is the Lonely Lion's mega bar that he built for me. And this place looks amazing at night. I have a few more lighting touches to do. And there's some of the existing signage. So all in all, it was a challenging and fun build. And I can hardly wait to open the doors for gladiator battles. So everyone, thanks again for watching a rather long build video, and I'll see you out in the world.